these plastics have been under a lot of criticism, which has left many people wondering if plastic water bottles should be banned or not. Hey guys, it's me again, Malak from the MTZ Weekly Podcast, the show where you list from new every time you join us. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Facebook by typing MTZ Weekly Podcast. That's MTZ Weekly Podcast. And if you'd love to stay updated, you can actually follow us on Twitter and TikTok. We've made a new account. On TikTok, you can find us by typing MTZ Weekly Podcast and on Twitter by typing MTZ Podcast. We'd love to see you there. Let's dive in. So today's episode is all about should plastic water bottles be banned or not? Now, if if we're speaking with statistics, uh, globally about 20,000 plastic bottles were bought every second in 2017 and that was only in 2017. Uh, basically, a majority of these plastic bottles, they actually contained drinking water, you know, because you can find other... Uh, other drinks like you know whatever fizzy drinks uh, we might have or juices it could also be in plastic bottles but we're speaking here about this 20,000 plastic bottles they all contained drinking water and more than half of these bottles were not tending for recycling unfortunately and for the for, for those ones who've actually been recycled only seven percent were turned into new bottles so something to keep in mind it's a big issue the fact that plastic is consuming our earth is consuming our environment our the way we're living life is all being affected because it's plastic is a complicated it's, it's way too complicated we can't just talk about it like in 10 minutes it's a complicated matter that we need to realize it is something big and it's something important that every 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 person on earth on our on our life should really know about it and on and should know its consequences. Now, if we're speaking about Americans, only Americans in the year 2019, they've consumed 14.4 billion gallons of bottled water. And that's, imagine, that's only Americans. And that was only in one year. So if you imagine the whole, the whole earth, if you imagine every single person living on this earth, how many, how many people would that be? So if we're only speaking about Americans, and if you can imagine the large number of people that would consume uh, bottled water and here when we are speaking bottled water we're talking about plastic bottled water and the water bottle you buy from a supermarket or wherever so these statistics have actually been rising and i'm telling you this one's the, the first one was in 2017 the second one was, was in 2019 and i'm guessing they're still increasing you know a higher population more people uh, it's all it's all affecting our lives and it's such a necessary topic that we need to realize the significance of plastic and its impact on our earth and our environment. Now, if we're talking about the pros and the cons, whether bottled water, specifically plastic bottled water, should be banned or not, I feel like we need to get we need to get some information about plastic. But uh, that will be another topic. Hopefully, uh, we'll cover all the things we need to know about plastic and how we can reduce our plastic intake or how how we use plastics in our daily lives. Uh, to reduce the effect that it has on our globe. Now, if, you, if we're speaking about the pros and the cons of plastic uh, bottled water, now for the pros, if we actually think about banning it, banning bottled water, it would definitely reduce waste and also protect the environment. That is definitely a true thing, you know, because if plastic is being, it has, there's, there's an ex- extraordinary number of plastics in our earth currently that it's just unacceptable. It just started... Uh, back in the days and it's just increasing you know the number of plastics the quantity that's being used and that's being re- uh, that's being used every single day now the thing is banning bottled water is apparently considered good for your health that's something to keep in mind and at the same time it would save you some money you know it would definitely save money and public water fountains are convenient and plentiful so if we're thinking of switching the option to having Public water fountains, I mean, okay, that would definitely be more reliable. It doesn't have to be reliable, but like it would be more easier and it would definitely benefit the environment. And we'd have like an always uh, a pretty good source of having water. But let's actually think about it. If you're like, if you're just on a train and if you've forgotten to take your glass water bottle, you know, and then you're really thirsty and you need to, you need to drink some water. Would 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 like would you always be in a situation where you have a public water fountain near you so you can get that, you know, and you've just forgotten your glass water bottle? 
in the situation, you know, I don't know how would, how things would work. But this, these are the things that we have to consider. Now, when it comes to the when it comes to the environmental cost, we do realize that single-use plastics, they have definitely high environmental cost. It has an extraordinary environmental cost. We can't believe it. Uh, it just it's just way too much, to be honest. And uh, when speaking about wildlife, definitely plastic pollution is a serious long-term cost to wildlife. Uh, I feel like we're going to go more into the plastic side, but with the, because we're talking about water bottles, the ones that are made from plastic is definitely going to link to plastic pollution. And, you know, sometimes you can just refill bottles. You know, if you had a glass, a glass bottle, you can easily refill it. It's healthy as well. It has no, it has no consequences to your health, you know, because um, with the thing with the plastics, you can't keep reusing them. Uh, I feel like, I'm not, I don't feel like, but like, it would turn into something harm, harmful for your health, you know what I mean? Uh, and I believe every single plastic, type of plastic has, um, it's not like an expiry date, but like, how many times can you actually use that water bottle? And it's written at the, uh, somewhere on this uh, plastic water bottle. You can't keep reusing it. It's going to go against your against your uh, body. Now, uh, the fact that if we ban bottle, uh, plastic water bottled, uh, water bottles, sorry, uh, it's going to give uh, companies and consumers an option to look for uh, a better option, you know, as simple as taking your glass, a glass water bottle, that's a lot easier. But the question is, is it necessary to ban plastic water bottles when you have other drinks that aren't unnecessary? You know, you can get a lot of drinks and also made in a, a package in a plastic. So is it actually a necessary act to ban a plastic water bottles and then just leave the other ones not like, you know, because if you think about it, water is a very is a, a necessity for life. It's just important, right? Now, on the other hand, if we're thinking about you know not banning plastic water bottles, because we realize the importance of always having a good source of water whenever you need it, always at your hand. Now, if we actually uh, ban water bottle uh, plastic water bottles, it would some point feel like you're restricting a personal choice, because every single human on this earth they have their own personal choice. Of whether they want to get uh, the water in whatever form they want, you know, plastic and glass. So at some point, it does feel like you're excessive restriction. You're excessively restricting a person, a person's personal choice. Now, uh, there are better. There are some ways to deal with the problem. You know, uh, as simple as you can put a tax on all single-use plastics. That would definitely reduce uh, the usage of uh, plastic water bottles. At the same time, uh, instead of focusing on plastic water bottles we should actually focus on plastic bottles of soda you know any fizzy drink we have it's not as important as water is so we could move our sh we can shift our perspective to uh, fizzy drinks are actually made from plastics you know they're still contributing uh, they're still impacting our earth negatively definitely because all of this plastic and how long it takes to how long it takes to uh, you know, to uh, resolve on the earth. So definitely, we could just shift to uh, we can shift our um, our perspective to you know uh, drinks, you know fizzy drinks, soda, whatever, and not focus on water, you know, because water is important. Uh, the thing that I feel like with plastic water bottles is the fact that the when people litter, like the, you know, because uh, a lot of people they just have the, they buy water uh, plastic water bottle and they just drink and they throw it somewhere, you know. The thing is with that throwing away, you know, you can just bin it or whatever. The thing is with that, you know, and, and considering every person, you know, I was telling you in the beginning of this episode, like we have a huge statistics, a huge number of people who buy water bottles every single day, every second. It's insane. One more thing is bottled water has lower water footprint than other drinks. So we should definitely focus on other drinks that are made are packaged in plastics. That is definitely something to keep in mind. Now, at the same time, it doesn't necessarily have to be uh, plastic water bottles, but if we're speaking about plastic bottles overall, they definitely require oil, they require water, and definitely environmental cost of transportation. So if you know, if you get uh, uh, whatever fizzy drinks or water in a plastic bottle, it's all going to require you to that a process, that a production process, is going to take you some time, definitely resources and the transportation cost as well. Now, this use of oil and plastic contributes to global warming, carbon emissions, and is definitely unnecessary. We can we can find 
we can find something else we can use glass we can find other options you know it's all unnecessary things that are going to harm our planet now i've already mentioned about landfill it's just gonna make a necessary landfill you know because every person who drinks water well this is gonna throw it and it's gonna end up landfill is gonna be a huge landfill and we can we can actually be better without it you know finding another option as simple as having a glass water bottle also you can all you can, you can forget you know if you can always forget your things around but i guess you know at least you contribute something good to your environment the water footprint of bottled water is greater than that, just the water involved. So the water footprint is actually better and it's higher than the water involved. That's why they say bottled water requires water in the packaging, production and distributing stage. So it's a true fact that we're trying to provide a quick excess of water to everyone who needs it, you know, as in, a, as in the form of a, a plastic water bottle. But the fact that the production of this plastic water bottle is actually going to require more water than you're actually providing. So that's something to keep in mind. Now, if we ban plastic water bottles, uh, if we ban plastic water bottles, it's definitely going to encourage people to go for a more sustainable option. You know, like you can get a refill uh, bottle or whatever. It's definitely a good thing to try. And I think it's a good, uh, it's going to make a big fuss about it in the beginning because it's, it's a big choice. It's a big, it's a big choice. I cannot be made alone. Uh, a lot of things need to be considered. Correct. Uh, that's why switching uh, as as a normal person, a human being, the simple thing we can do is we can just switch to a glass water bottle and reduce our intake, reduce our usage of plastic. It's going to affect our environment massively if we just do it person by person. All right. The fact that if we, not, if we don't want to buy a water bottle, a uh, plastic water bottle, let's put a plastic, um, more people are going to buy it, you know, they won't find any, they won't really realize the importance or they won't realize the effect of plastic on our earth, right? Uh, some people do say that a plastic water bottle isn't really, isn't really safer, isn't purer than tap water, you know. Uh, and other people do believe that tap water is unsafe or is more likely to contain cont uh, contaminants. That's why they prefer to buy plastic water bottles. Now, if we're talking about America and the USA, potentially millions of people are drinking unsafe tap water. Uh, that was according to the Science Mag magazine. And one study found that during the Flint water crisis in 2015, nearly 21 million Americans, which is 6%, were getting water from sim uh, sorry were getting water from systems that violated health standards. So there's so much to our world is just insane. Uh, we don't we don't want to we don't want to only focus on plastic water bottles, but the effect of plastic overall. Uh, to be honest, bottled water is about 3,000% 3, 3, more expensive per gallon than tap water. Can you believe that? That's huge. So if you're speaking in dollars, a bottled water would cost you 64 cents per gallon, where compared to a tap water would cost you 0 0.02 dollars per gallon, which is basically 2 cents per gallon. So there's a huge difference between the cost is gonna cost you, uh, the cost or the price you ha you're gonna have to pay. And as I was mentioning, bottled water, apparently they say it's no cleaner or safer or healthier than tap water. You know, we still don't really know about this. It depends on the uh, on the type of uh, plastic water bottle you buy or whether what company they're making it and are they actually following the standards or not. Uh, so I think that was it for this episode. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. And we'll be grateful if you could leave us a review on wherever you listen to your podcast. Whether it's Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, Listen Notes and YouTube. Don't forget to show us your love and support by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Just type MTZ Weekly Podcast. And we're super, super active on Instagram. We post reels and uh, stories and uh, post everything on there. We're mostly active on Instagram. So that is M-T-Z-W-E-E-K-L-Y. P O D C A S D M T Z Weekly Podcast. All right. In the next episode, we'll be dis we'll be discussing how you can overcome self doubt. All right. Stay tuned. Bye bye.